What is up ladies and gentlemen, it's Hafa here, r 2 to be on Xbox Live. I hope you're having a great day, and if you're like me, November 7th cannot come soon enough. We are now less than one week, and let me repeat that, we are now less than one week from the launch of the most powerful console in the world, the Xbox One X. I wanted to make a video and show you a few things you can do ahead of time that will facilitate your experience for when you get your own Xbox One X. Now, whether you be transitioning from an original Xbox or from an Xbox One S, this approach should be relatively simple. I personally will be making the jump from an original Xbox One, so I can't not wait to see how much of a difference I am going to notice. All right, let's get to it. In my personal opinion, one of the most important things you should do right now, right now, if you're able to, is get yourself an external hard drive. For a bit of context here, the largest internal hard drive you can get on any of the Xbox One consoles, that would be from the original Xbox to the Xbox One S, and now to the upcoming Xbox One X is a one terabyte internal hard drive. Games nowadays require an average of about, I would say 30 gigabytes from what I've researched. And that's just for the bare bones game itself. So depending on how many games you own or how many games you intend to purchase, your hard drive space can fill up relatively quick. Now don't forget that's just for games, that does not include any additional media you may have on your console. With the addition of 4K enhancements coming, titles benefiting from the 4K treatment are only going to increase in size. Even though you're not obligated to download any of these enhancements, okay, those 4K enhanced titles will be the best versions of those specific games. And come on, let's be honest here, who is not going to download those 4K enhanced games when you just picked up an Xbox One X, the most powerful console in the world? Now, not only will you get more storage with an external hard drive, but it will also be faster and easier for you to transfer all of your data from one console to another. It'll be pretty much standard plug and play. Like I mentioned before, I'm making the move from the original Xbox One to the Xbox One X. I personally have an external hard drive, so when I get my Xbox One X, all I have to do is make sure all of my games, all of my apps, and all of my settings that I want to transfer over are on my external hard drive. And then all I have to do is plug in my external hard drive into the Xbox One X and voila! Now all my games, all my apps, and all my settings are now on the new console. There are a couple of criteria you have to meet in order to use an external hard drive on the Xbox. Just make sure it's at least 256 gigabytes and it connects via 3.0 USB. I personally have a Seagate 4 terabyte external hard drive. A couple of reasons for me choosing uh, this hard drive in particular is one, because it's uh, USB powered, which means you only need one cable, you only have one USB cable connecting directly to your device, and two, I got it on sale. Cha-ching! Am I right? Who doesn't like to save money? If you're interested and you want to find any additional information in regards to external hard drives and how it links up to the Xbox One consoles, I'll leave a link down in the description, so make sure to check that out if you are interested. If you're looking to play any Xbox One X enhanced titles as soon as you're done setting up your Xbox One X, then go ahead and start downloading those titles right now. Don't know what I mean? Well, let me explain. Xbox is already letting you download some of those Xbox One X enhanced titles ahead of time. So 
that you're ready to play all of those titles as soon as you get your Xbox One X. You may be asking, well, what's the point of all this? Well, isn't it frustrating when you purchase a game and you get home and you get hit with that day one patch? And you just have to sit there and wait before you can even start the game? Now picture this, right? You just got the most powerful console in the world. And all you want to do is start playing your enhanced game. But you can't because you still need to download the 4K enhancement. How upset would you be? To check and see what games you own that are getting an Xbox One X enhancement and is currently available for download, simply do this. Go to My Games and Apps, slide over to the window on the top right hand corner, and select Xbox One X Enhanced Games. This will display all the titles you own that are available for download. As you can see, I only have Gears of War 4 available to, back, to download back, 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 back. the enhancement for. Now, you may only see a few titles right now as the updates are slowly coming in, but Xbox has over 100 titles getting 4K enhancements, so I'll make sure to leave the link on the description so you can check out the full list. Now, for the last thing, if your Xbox hard drive is at full capacity and you're having to manage your storage all the time, do yourself a favor, like I've been telling people, do your best not to delete any of your large files. With the new Xbox UI update that we got a couple weeks ago, Xbox introduced the network transfer tool. What this does is this allows you to transfer your installed games and apps over a local network. You'll obviously need your devices or your Xbox Ones connected to the same network using either a wired or a wireless connection though. I personally have not used this feature as I do not have two consoles at home nor do I need it because I keep all of my games in an external hard drive but let me tell you why this is a, such an awesome feature. By transferring your data via your own local network that means you will not have to re-download all of your games and apps again saving you some of that sweet sweet bandwidth and leaving you more time to play those games. Given that most people nowadays have a data cap from their internet service provider as well, this is a great tool to have at your disposal. Especially, like I mentioned before, some of these games averaging at about 30 gigabytes and even going as high as 100 gigabytes. So, kudos to Xbox for giving us this feature. If you are at max capacity though, if you have to delete some files from your hard drive, try and delete some of those smaller files so you don't have too much trouble downloading them again. Like I said before, I haven't personally used this feature, but I'll leave a link on the description so you can see exactly how this feature works. And that's all I have for today, folks. I hope some of the things I mentioned here can help you get ready for the Xbox One X and help you make that transition a little bit easier for you. I know personally I cannot wait to get my hands on an Xbox One X. Like I said, it's less than one week away. I want to start playing some true native 4K games. I cannot wait. Extremely excited. I will, however, be doing an unboxing video, so make sure to come back and check that video out. And what's the best way to do that is to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell so you can get a notification of when my latest videos goes up. All right. It's been a pleasure, guys. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or you have any additional tips that you want to let me know, go ahead and let, the, let me know in the comments. Stay safe out there, everybody. Remember to keep on gaming, and I'll see you guys on Xbox Live. Like I said, it's been real. My name is Hoffa, R2 to the B on Xbox Live, and I'm out. Dolce!